The film unfolds in a bleak dystopian realm where perpetual darkness shrouds a sunless landscape. At the stroke of midnight each night, an unusual event transpires. Every inhabitant of this world succumbs to a temporary death for five minutes, awakening thereafter with no recollection of the incident. Our protagonist, John Murdoch, commences the narrative by awakening in a dimly lit bathroom. Gripped by fear and devoid of any memory regarding his presence there, his recent activities, or even his own identity. After dressing himself, he explores his surroundings and stumbles upon a briefcase bearing the initials KH. Opening it reveals a greeting card originating from a place called Shell Beach. Although the specifics elude him, Murdoch begins to piece together fragmented memories associated with the location. In the midst of this discovery, the telephone within the bathroom rings prompting Murdoch to answer with trepidation. On the other end, a man identifying as Dr. Schrieber informs Murdoch that his memory was erased due to a failed experiment, and now he is being pursued by unknown individuals. The call adds another layer of bewilderment, concluding abruptly. Following this unsettling revelation, Murdoch endeavors to depart from the location, later revealed to be a hotel. During his exit, he encounters the grisly remains of a woman in his room, Horrified, he rushes out and encounters three unnaturally tall, pale-faced figures approaching him. Upon reaching the lobby, he observes that all occupants, including an elevator-bound woman, appear lifeless. At the stroke of midnight, a peculiar revival occurs, prompting Murdoch's departure from the hotel, perplexed by the inexplicable phenomenon. Subsequently, the enigmatic pursuers interrogate the hotel receptionist about Murdoch. Failing to provide answers, the receptionist is injected with a mysterious substance resulting in his demise. Meanwhile, Emma, a performer, is urgently contacted by Dr. Schrieber. It is revealed that Emma is, in fact, Murdoch's wife. In their meeting, Dr. Schrieber discloses that Murdoch's memory has been entirely eradicated and malevolent forces are in pursuit. He urges Emma to notify him promptly if she encounters Murdoch. Despite her confusion, she complies. In the ensuing sequence, Local law enforcement, accompanied by Inspector Bumstead, converges on the crime scene within the hotel to commence their investigation. Unveiling a disconcerting pattern, it appears to be the sixth murder in the past month, each marked by a distinctive spiral symbol. Given Murdoch's recent stay at the hotel, Inspector Bumstead promptly singles him out as a prime suspect in the case. Subsequently, he summons Emma to the police station, cautioning her to surrender her husband as he is now a wanted criminal. Meanwhile, Murdoch roams the city in a state of confusion and fear. Upon reaching a particular location, an unsettling feeling grips him, and he observes an unusual glow emanating from his fingerprints. His journey leads him to a Shell Beach advertisement board, mirroring the one featured on the greeting card discovered in the hotel suitcase. Intrigued, he ascends the advertisement board, only to be confronted by the trio of towering individuals from earlier, self-identified as the Strangers. An attempt by one of them to utilize powers to induce sleep fails, surprising them. In a turn of events, Murdoch harnesses his own telekinetic abilities, subduing the three strangers. The narrative then transitions to the stranger's hideout, revealing an expansive underground compound. Astonishment permeates the group as they grasp that Murdoch shares their telekinetic prowess. Further exposition discloses Murdoch's involvement in an experiment known as imprinting, from which he managed to escape making him a sought-after fugitive for the strangers. Simultaneously, Emma returns home from the police station and discovers Murdoch awaiting her. Although devoid of recognition for her, Murdoch acknowledges the residence based on the address found on his business card. Emma endeavors to inquire about his whereabouts over the past three weeks, only to be met with Murdoch's lack of answers. Instead, he discloses that he didn't even know his own name until inspecting his wallet. As their conversation unfolds, Emma unveils the grave suspicion surrounding Murdoch regarding the murders of six women. Stunned by this revelation, Murdoch abruptly departs from the premises. Shortly before midnight, the enigmatic assembly of men convenes in their clandestine meeting place. Dr. Schrieber stands as the sole human presence among the attendees, evidently leading their scientific endeavors. As the clock strikes precisely 12 p.m., the leader of the strangers, Mr. Book, emerges from the group and issues the command to shut it down. In response, the strangers enter a meditative state, inducing a city-wide phenomenon. At this moment, 
the entire city above ground grinds to a halt. People succumb to sleep wherever they are, trains come to a standstill, and traffic freezes. Curiously, Murdoch remains impervious to this surreal process, navigating the city in a state of disbelief. Despite his attempts to rouse others, he finds them unresponsive. Simultaneously, massive structures and infrastructures begin ascending from the underground, signaling a profound transformation in the city. Subsequently, the strangers, accompanied by Dr. Schrieber, venture into the city to initiate a process known as tuning. During this ritual, they approach various individuals and administer a syringe, erasing their memories. After five minutes, when the strangers retreat underground, the city resumes its normal activity, with its inhabitants waking up with no recollection of their former lives, assuming entirely new identities. For example, someone who was a doctor moments ago might now find themselves transformed into a completely different persona, such as a serial killer. Following the tuning process, the strangers refocus their attention on Murdoch. Since apprehending him proves challenging, Dr. Schrieber prepares a syringe containing Murdoch's subconscious memories. Injecting this substance into someone would enable the strangers to instantly track Murdoch. Amidst the confusion of onlookers, a senior stranger, Mr. Hand, steps forward to volunteer. With the leader's approval, Mr. Hand undergoes the injection process, convulsing for a period before awakening with all of Murdoch's memories. In the subsequent scene, Murdoch ventures into the subway in his quest for Shell Beach. Inquiring about directions from several people, he is bewildered to discover that they have all inexplicably forgotten about the place. Puzzled, he scrutinizes the greeting card once again, revealing the name Carl Harris. Interestingly, the same initials were found on the hotel suitcase. Murdoch proceeds to trace Carl's address and visits his residence. The elderly man reminisces about a time when Murdoch was a child, but, as anticipated, he has no recollection of those events. Inquisitive about the perpetual night, Murdoch queries Carl, who advises him to rest. Meanwhile, in another room, Carl discreetly contacts Emma, apprising her of Murdoch's presence. Emma, in turn, informs Inspector Bumstead and accompanies him to the location. Unfortunately, Mr. Hand, tracking Emma through Murdoch's memories, overhears the conversation. Realizing that Carl has disclosed his whereabouts, Murdoch attempts to flee, but the strangers, led by Mr. Hand, have already arrived, initiating an attack. Employing his intricate telekinetic abilities and a determined will to survive, Murdoch skillfully evades their onslaught. Though he manages to reach the streets, the strangers close in once more. Just as his capture seems imminent, Emma and the inspector arrive in a car, rescuing him. The narrative then shifts to the police station, where Inspector Bumstead interrogates Murdoch, maintaining his belief that Murdoch is culpable for the murders. However, Murdoch counters by redirecting the questions inquiring about the way to Shell Beach. As expected, Bumstead is familiar with the place but struggles to recall the directions. Murdoch then delves into deeper questions, probing the perpetual night and the absence of daytime memories. He substantiates his claims by levitating a book, compelling them to consider the supernatural nature of their predicament. After a brief interlude, strangers led by Mr. Hand infiltrate the police station, inducing sleep in the officers and proceeding to the cell. Upon arrival, they discover that their target has already escaped. In the interim, Murdoch confronts Dr. Schrieber at a bathhouse, demanding answers about the perplexing events unfolding in the city and the relentless pursuit by the strangers. In an attempt to assuage Murdoch's distress, the doctor divulges that they are all participants in an elaborate experiment orchestrated by the strangers. At that moment, Inspector Bumstead arrives on the scene taking charge of Dr. Schrieber. Surprisingly, it is unveiled that the inspector facilitated Murdoch's release from custody, propelled by his own quest for answers. Subsequently, the inspector and Murdoch coerce Dr. Schrieber into guiding them to Shell Beach. Boarding a car, they commence their journey, yet the doctor persistently asserts that reaching the destination is futile. Their progress is impeded when they encounter a dead end caused by the mysterious disappearance of a bridge. Undeterred, the trio opts to continue the expedition by boat. Amidst the voyage, Dr. Schrieber finally clarifies the intricacies of the city's enigmatic occurrences. He discloses that the strangers are extraterrestrial beings from another planet, driven to Earth following a near-extinction event on their own homeworld. Witnessing the flourishing human population, 
they sought to emulate it. However, lacking souls distinguished them from humans. Determined to preserve their race, the strangers created an entire city, abducting humans from diverse locations and placing them within it. Every midnight at 12, they immobilize everyone and implant new memories to observe and compare distinct human traits. The ultimate objective is to comprehend every facet of the human soul and assimilate those qualities. Dr. Schrieber emphasizes his role as the foremost psychologist in town, explaining that the strangers refrain from erasing his memory nightly due to his expertise. Following Murdoch's inquiry about the perpetual night, the doctor discloses that the strangers fear light, prompting them to create a city perpetually shrouded in darkness. Upon reaching Shell Beach, frustration sets in as they discover it to be nothing more than a poster on a wall. In a fit of rage, Murdoch and Inspector Bumstead employ iron bars to strike the wall despite the doctor's pleas to desist. Breaking through, they are stunned to find boundless space on the other side, signifying the inescapable nature of the experiment. The city is revealed to be a colossal spaceship. At this juncture, Mr. Hand and his accomplices arrive, holding Emma captive and coercing Murdoch to surrender. The inspector retaliates but is cast into the abyss, glimpsing the city adrift in space before meeting his demise. It becomes apparent that the city is, in fact, a massive spaceship. In the subsequent scene, Murdoch finds himself bound to a chair, surrounded by strangers clamoring for his demise. Mr. Book, the leader, diverges from the collective desire for execution and instructs Dr. Schrieber to inject Murdoch with an imprint, transferring his soul into all the strangers. With reluctance, the doctor complies, but in a surprising twist, he administers a different syringe containing all of Murdoch's memories. As the memories flood his consciousness, it is revealed that Murdoch was indeed born in Shell Beach. Empowered by this newfound understanding, he breaks free from his restraints and harnesses his telekinetic abilities, tossing the strangers around. In one memory, Dr. Schraber encourages Murdoch to defeat the strangers and seize control of the city. Renewed with hope, Murdoch engages in a fierce battle, demolishing the compound in the process. The confrontation between Murdoch and Mr. Book escalates into an airborne clash. Ultimately, Murdoch gains the upper hand by deflecting Mr. Book's knife and hurling it back at him, culminating in Mr. Book's demise. Following his triumph, Murdoch approaches Dr. Schrieber inquiring about Emma's well-being. The doctor somberly reveals that Emma has already lost her memory in the last tuning. Despite the devastating news, Murdoch conceives an idea to alter their circumstances. In the final scene, Murdoch employs his unparalleled telekinetic abilities to overhaul the entire city. He introduces an encircling ocean, meticulously repairs the bridges, constructs a genuine shell beach, and, most significantly, restores the sun by orchestrating the rotation of the spaceship. The movie concludes with Murdoch making his way to a pier near the ocean, where a rejuvenated and transformed Emma basks in the sunlight. That concludes our exploration of Dark City. Are you left pondering the boundaries of reality? Does the film's surreal setting challenge your perceptions of existence? Share your musings in the comments, Moon Explorers, and contribute to our poll on the enigmatic world of Dark City. Does Dark City leave you questioning the boundaries of reality? Your enthusiasm keeps the movie magic alive. If you relish this recap, don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up for more enchanting content. Thanks for watching.